I'm Archbishop Mark Coleridge and you are watching Q&A, question and answer for the Catholic leader. Pope Francis has often said that we have to become more and more a church of the poor, a church that goes to the periphery where the poor are to be found. And the periphery can be physical, on the outskirts of big cities for instance, but there can be people who live on the periphery in other ways that is not just physical. It can be emotional or spiritual. So there are many peripheries where we find many kinds of poor. Now in some countries, some of them very near Australia, it's not hard to identify who the poor are because the poor are everywhere. They're the majority of the people in that country. In Australia it tends to be different because much of the poverty in Australia, a very rich country, much of the poverty is hidden. So it's not as easy to see and the poor are not a majority. The majority in fact are comfortable and comparatively wealthy. So our first task, if we want to be a church of the poor, and we have no choice in this, it's not just the call of Pope Francis, it's the call of Jesus Christ himself, the Lord of the poor, we have to identify the real poor in our midst. And again, Pope Francis has spoken about new forms of poverty and vulnerability and how we have to be able to identify and name those new forms of poverty and vulnerability. So the question for us here in Australia, what are some of the new forms of poverty and vulnerability? There are old forms in this country, like the indigenous people, who in some ways in Australia are the poorest of the poor. There are others like the, the asylum seekers who are more recent arrivals. They are one of the newer forms, but there are many others. So we have to grapple with the question together of who are the, the poor in our midst? What are these newer forms of poverty and vulnerability? Because if we are not going out to those people, the danger is we create a church of the comfortable, a kind of a glee club, where all we serve are our own interests and we look inwards and not outwards. The thing about the poor, whoever they might be, is that they won't often come to us so if they won't come to us, we don't just look the other way and walk through the door of the glee club. We have to go out and look for them. It's the kind of thing that St Vincent de Paul and many others in the church have been doing for a long, long time. But it's not enough just to say that the Vinnies do that, the rest of us do something else. No, we are, as a church, called to be more missionary at this time. And one of the things at the heart of being more missionary is going out in new ways to make a new kind of gospel contact with all of these new forms of poverty and vulnerability of which the Pope speaks and into which Jesus sends us.